land belonging to serial killer Todd Cole have sold for $500,000. The 95.6-acre property serial killer Todd Colehip once described as his killing field has been sold. The swath of fenced-in, heavily wooded land on Wofford Road near Highway 101 in Woodruff was sold to Strange Properties No. 1 LLC, according to Spartanburg County Property Records. The corporation bought the property on September 18 for $500,000, records show. Colette, who is serving seven life sentences in a South Carolina prison, had owned the property before his arrest. It was where Kala Brown, who went missing from Anderson, was found chained up inside a metal shipping container. Three bodies were also found buried there in shallow graves. The discovery led to Colehip's November 3, 2016 arrest while he was inside his second property, a two-story suburban home in Moore, about 15 minutes from Woodruff. During interrogations, Colehip told investigators that he wanted to make the property into his dream home, a sanctuary, and had not intended it to become his killing field. His belongings that remained there were recently sold through an online short auction. Proceeds from the sale went to Colehip's victims and families of victims, who are seeking monetary damages through several civil lawsuits. The land had a market value of $504,410 this year, an increase from the nearly $200,000 value since its 2017 assessment, according to Spartanburg County property records. Court-appointed receiver Reed Sherrod, a Greenville-based attorney, took possession of Colehip's assets after his conviction. Sherrod was granted a motion to sell the Woodruff property before it went to foreclosure to get more for the property through a private sale. All of Colehip's assets are being liquidated and funds are being distributed to the victims and family members of victims who are seeking millions of dollars worth of damages through civil suits. A damages hearing was held for Brown in which a judge ordered her to be awarded $6.3 million in damages. The Woodruff property was sold to Colehip for $305,632 in 2014 through an agreement with the former owners that he would pay monthly installments of $3,000 without interest until July 1, 2018 when a balloon payment would be due for the remainder of what was owed, according to court records. Those payments stopped after Colehip's arrest, and former owner Wilton Lawrence filed a civil suit to be awarded what was still owed to him based on the agreement that was cut short. In his suit, Lawrence was seeking $121,232, the principal due on the mortgage, plus late fees. That suit was dismissed September 19 after the mortgage loan was paid in full from the new sale.